Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, which is 6 raised to the power x minus 2 equals to 48. From here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, which is same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. That is, here we have 6 raised to the power x over 6 square equals to 48. That is, next step here, this same thing as 6 raised to the power x over 36 equals to 48 over 1 here. And when we cross multiply, 6 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 6 raised to the power x, which is equals to 48 times 36. The next step here, yeah. we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 6 raised to the power x equals to log 48 times 36. The next step here, yeah. we apply the power law of logarithm. Well, we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, this, here yeah, what we have becomes x log 6 equals to log 48 times 36. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 6. Divide this side by log 6. Also divide this side by log 6, which implies log 6 comes to each other here. And we have x left which is equals to log 48 times 36 over log 6 that is here this follows from a lot of logarithm when we have log a times b same thing as log a plus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 48 plus log 36 over log 6. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to log 48 over log 6 plus log 36 over log 6. The next step here, 36 can be expressed as 6 times 6, which is 6 squared. That is, here we have x equals to log 48 over log 6 plus log 6 square over log 6. Then, here we apply the power of log 2 comes here. And what we have becomes x equals to log 48 over log 6 plus 2 log 6 over log 6. Next step here, log 6 comes each other. And we have 2 left here. That is x equals to log 48 over log 6 plus 2. And also here, 48 can be written as 6 times 8. And what we have becomes x equals to log 6 times 8 over log 6 plus 2. Which implies this also follows from the law of logarithm. And we have x now equals to log 6 plus log 8 over log 6 plus 2. The next step here, also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 6 over log 6 plus log 8 over log 6 plus 2. 
And next step, log 6 comes each other. We have one left. That is x equals to 1 plus. We can write 2 first, then plus log 8 over log 6. That is, here we have x equals to 1 plus 2, that is 3, then plus log 8 over log 6. The next step, it can be written as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 is to power 3. Then, this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 raised to power 3 over log 6. And we apply the power law of log theorem. Also, 3 comes here, and we have x now equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 over log 6. The next step we apply change of base from where we have log a over log b, which is the same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 to base 6. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as 3 plus 3 log 2 base 6. Now let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that this will substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 base 6, and what we have become 6 raised to the power 3 plus 3 log 2 base 6, then minus 2. Is this equals to 48 on this side? Then from here, we can bring 3 minus 2 together. That's 1. So we have 6 raised to the power 1 plus 3 log 2 with 6. Is this equals to 48 on this side? And this follows from the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power n plus n, the same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. When we separate this, following this, we have 6 raised to the power 1 times 6 raised to the power 3 log 2 is 6. This is equal to 48 here. Yeah? And 6 raised to the power 1, same thing as 6, then times. We reverse this 3 from power log. At this, here we have 6 raised to the power log 2 raised to the power 3 with 6 now. This is equal to 48 on this side. Then, it's the same thing as 6 times 6 raised to power log 2 raised to power 3, that's 8 is 6. Is it equals to 48 on this side? Then what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. As if what we have here is 8, so we have 6 times 8. Is it equals to 48 here? And 6 times 8, same thing as 48, which is equal to 48 on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Hence, we can conclude that x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 with 6 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you in next class and bye for now.